Hey, you guys. So today we're going to talk about bone tissue and cartilage tissue. Hopefully this visual is totally familiar to you because we've been here, done that, and we already know that we've dealt with connective tissue proper. You know that connective tissue is a tissue made up of cells found within a matrix of ground substance and fibers. We talked about all the like normal kinds of connective tissue. And today we're going to deal with our structural types of connective tissue. We have two main kinds of structural connective tissue, and that would be bone and cartilage tissue. And we're going to look at all the different subsets of bone and cartilage tissue. We're going to talk about how it forms, how it grows. We'll do a little bit of lab preview and, and look at some of the histology. But we're focusing today not on bone organs or like the bones that you think of in your brain when you hear the word bone. Instead, we're going to focus on the tissue itself. Now, bone organs are definitely made of bone tissue, but bone organs also have other tissues in them. In the next lecture, we're going to spend the whole time talking about bone organs and how those things actually work. Now, we have one more kind of connective tissue before we've completed our full survey of connective tissue land, and that would be our fluid connective tissue, blood. Blood is bloody fun. However, we're not going to do that until we get to the cardiovascular system. By the end of the semester, you will have studied all of these types of connective tissue. You will be a connective tissue expert. Today, we're adding in a big piece of your connective tissue tissue p -p picture. All right, let's get started looking at cartilage connective tissue.